today I'm building in Copperdale and this is a build for a collab. It's called a Simlish Chronicle collab hosted by Purple Cat Simmer. And we were pretty much asked to make a build from any decade or century. And so I was originally going to do something medieval, but I feel like I do that already. And so I decided to go with a house inspired by Washington Irving Sunnyside in Terrytown, New York, mostly because I had visited it with my friend Mossy Sim a couple years ago. And I've always wanted to build the house. It was really pretty and we got to like walk through it and stuff, except this is more so a build inspired by it because um, I really struggled making this, this build. It was like, okay, it's very tiny, which is fine. I could have made it larger, but I really liked this lot for it. So like the house in real life is located right on the Hudson River, I believe. And it is like really secluded <laughs> you have to like walk down a path to get to it and that's kind of what i thought that this lot felt like where you kind of are pretty far away from everything else and so i was really set on this lot <laughs> even though ignore the ferris wheel in the background i also built this on like the side of the lot so the front of the lot is different and when i upload it to the gallery it will be facing the actual front so right now it's facing the side if you like it better facing this way that i have it you'll just have to rotate it but it looked very weird on the gallery if i upload it like that so um when i upload it it's going to be on a different part of the lot but it looks it looks fine either way i just liked the background of the water um when i was like building and so i decided on that and I also have this build on the gallery furnished and unfurnished. So if you want to furnish it yourself and you want to keep like the exterior decorations, you could download this unfurnished. Um, it also uses less packs that way. So I wanted to offer both just so it's easier because I'm pretty sure that if you don't have the packs and you download a build furnished, I believe sometimes it replaces the furniture with like really ugly base game furniture <laughs> or it deletes it completely. I'm not really sure. I don't download a lot of builds from the gallery and I do own a lot of the packs. So I really, I don't remember <laughs> now, but the entire build is the shell is now done. Um, the roofing took me a while. This build also took me like... Was this my second attempt or my third attempt at this? I think it might have been my second. I can't really remember, but I did start this build in Brindleton Bay by the lighthouse. And that's where I was originally going to build it. But I could not get it to look how I wanted it to. And I got so frustrated. And like, I kind of like, I've been so stressed with like work stuff that I kind of pushed this collab to like a week before. And so when I started building it a week before, I started to panic because I couldn't get it to look how I want it. And normally a week is enough time for me to build. That's usually like I finish a build in a few days normally. But this one, <laughs> it was because I guess I really was getting caught up on replicating what the house looked like and also like remembering the floor plan when we like toured it and stuff and then I had to like throw out like the entire like accuracy of the interior um I have like the floor plan it's like a loose interpretation of what the floor plan for the house is in real life but this one is very small um I really tried to keep making it larger and so like later on I kind of like pull out some of the back of the house but then like I realized that if I wanted to make it larger I would have to move the entire house towards the front of the lot more and I had already placed so much stuff and this ivy would keep moving so I just kind of had to accept that the house is really tiny it's a one bedroom 
um so like it's not a lot of space it's like a one bedroom two bathroom the tower to the right um the upstairs it's a like a sitting room it could be a bedroom um you also have to use a ladder to get up to it which i found was weird but it was like the only thing i could really do and I couldn't make it any larger. And, like, I feel like the proportions of the build look really nice like this. And I didn't want to make the tower any bigger because I liked how it looked like this. Also, the lot is very tiny. Is it, like, a 20 by 20, I think? Um, so it doesn't... A lot of, like, space doesn't fit, um, like, lengthwise or widthwise. Um, so that's, that was also a problem. And I am going to link below the website I was looking at for this build because I guess I should I should, I should mention that um, this house I think was like from 1835, um, something like that. Yeah, so it says it's open 1835. Uh, where was I going with that? <laughs> um, I can't even remember now. I took a moment, I remember I was saying that because I mostly used some, like, paintings of what the house, like, I guess looked like back in the 1800s instead of, like, modern day because it was slightly, like, it kind of looked different. I don't know if, like, the interpretation was just different when they painted it or something, but... I decided to go with that just because it was supposed to be like accurate for the time period and so I went with that but then I also looked around um to the house today and kind of like um did a little bit of both so you could see like the link for it hopefully I'll have the link in the description as soon as this is up I should remember I am recording this Friday um my like my upload schedule has been a little bit weird i used to upload on mondays which i'm not sure if i prefer or if i prefer the end of the week i'm gonna see and like figure it out next week um i'm going to be uploading a shell challenge entry for my friend simly sash which is due on wednesday um which if i could finish the build and edit it i might upload it on wednesday so my upload schedule might be a little bit weird um this month i might not just have one specific day a week i might upload depending <laughs> on um deadlines and also just if i finish the build in time but we'll see i'll like keep updated on instagram and also in like the community tab on here but i went with like a lot of wisteria for this build because in the front of the build at least like um like currently there is like a lot it's there's like a giant tree that covers most of the front but i couldn't find a tree that worked that i liked so i kind of just went with that and there's also like a lot of ivy it's like a beautiful house which when i went to go see it I, like, knew I wanted to build it, but I went, like, October 2022, so it's been a while, um, almost two years, well, like, a year and a half, um, and I haven't built it, and I would have never built it <laughs> if it wasn't for this collab, and I decided so last minute that I was gonna build this, because I was going to just go on Pinterest and find a medieval build. I also opened up Sims Medieval briefly um, when I was looking for inspiration for this collab. Because I was like, oh, maybe like I could find something from Sims Medieval and build it. And then I think my mind instantly, like my attention went to something else like instantly. And then I closed the game and then um, I settled on this house instead and i like it i like how the exterior came out a lot um the interior i think it's pretty i think it's too small i feel like i personally wouldn't really enjoy doing gameplay in this house because it is just one bedroom and the floor plan is a little bit weird like the back room is supposed to be a piano room and I wanted like a sitting area with like a nice couch, but it was so tiny 
and I just couldn't fit anything besides a piano and a bookcase in that room. And then plus I used a platform for the like deck outside, which makes the door to go out there like up on the wall, but there wasn't enough space to put stairs or put like another platform without it looking ugly. So um, the doorway is just like kind of floating on the wall a little bit, which I also think I, I don't, I don't like the look of, but you'll see later. <laughs> I really try and make it work, but I don't exactly. And so this house is also off the grid. Um, I don't know if I paid much attention to the plumbing aspect for that, though. Um, when I did tour this house, I remember the guy who was, like, um, doing the, like, explanation of the kitchen spent a long time talking about how they had, like, running hot water that was hooked up from, like, the copper um, stove in the kitchen and, like, there was a pipe that ran through. And, like, he was really, like, it, most of his talk was about that. So I was like, okay, they had a hot running water. So that seems okay. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, well, they had candles everywhere. So no electricity. And so I put a lot of candles outside, which I ended up cutting out for the video just to keep it, like, not super long <laughs> just know that i place candles around outside um and that's about it but i really like the landscaping for this i decided like at the start i kind of talked over it at the start of my landscaping i had pulled out different pieces and then i took from those pieces to landscape because i thought that would be easier because i just didn't know where to start and it turned out really well i like how the landscape looked i like the terrain paint too so hopefully that doesn't get deleted on accident somehow because the sims usually deletes my terrain paint but i liked how it turned out this time and this is the study um i don't know if technically the writer lives here <laughs> in like my lore i don't know but um when you walk in the house in real life to the right it is a study it is a little bit bigger than this um there would be a bigger bookcase where i put the tiny wall bookcase uh, and some chairs so it's like a shortened it's like squished in a little bit and i bought the crystal creation stuff pack like as soon as i started the interior because i knew that i wanted to use the bookcase <laughs> and then i used the desk too and they have that really cute like oil lamp that i thought was perfect for this build as well and so like i feel like this build wouldn't have been complete without the stuff pack which i was planning on not like looking at the stuff pack too much because i've been wanting to do a twitch stream again and my like my motivation was going to be that i would build with the new stuff pack like with my first impressions on stream and then that didn't really happen but i am making plans to stream again like soon i have been like not able to think as easily so there's like always been stuff just like in my mind that I know I have to do, but I can't do yet because I'm like waiting on other people too. And that drives me like I just like I can't do anything then. And then I'm just like locked in the state of not being able to like get a lot of stuff done. And I was able to finally like almost finish that. It was like a big step towards like I don't need to think about it for at least like a couple weeks now, which is good. Um, and I was also able to like send my tax stuff off which now I feel a lot lighter and I'm like able to actually like think and so I might be able to stream um I'm taking it one day at a time though <laughs> because I only just started feeling like my mental space is a little bit like easier for me to think and like even just talk to my friends because I was starting to neglect that too and so you know I need to I need to not like jump into everything at once or I'm going to like scare myself. But yeah, I talked over the office. I think the office is my favorite part of the build. It is the first part that I did. And then the rest, I was like, oh God, what do I do for this? Um, I also cut out the floor plan because that took me so long too. And the wallpapers and stuff, I just did like not record it. Um, and then I did upload it 
well i didn't upload it yet but i saved it to my library with this wallpaper i put some like wall cracks around i put candles so if you get the unfurnished version of this it'll have all the wallpaper and like the candles around it just won't have any of the furnishings which i had like thought that maybe i should have done like the bathrooms or something and had it been like you buy the house and there's at least like cabinets in the house and like bathtubs and toilets and stuff um if that's something that would be like better for an unfurnished house in the future then i might do it that way but i'd have to like really change up my building like order to accomplish that because i already struggled a little bit with like not being able to put like um furniture in with the wallpaper and like matching the wallpaper to the furniture that i want because i wanted to pick out all the wallpaper <laughs> and i don't know if i change anything i think the upstairs bedroom i close off and i add a wall and a door where the unfurnished version on the gallery is like an open loft so i did change a little bit of things which i figured i was like i don't need to keep it the same it's fine if i need to change it i'm just going to change it and the rest of the furnishings i think come along pretty quickly um i was trying to clutter but i didn't clutter like way too much what i was really spending a long time looking for <laughs> was like there's an item that's just like bread and i was trying to find the pieces of bread because i wanted to put it in the basket but I couldn't even find the basket at one point either. Like I typed in basket. Maybe it had a typo or something. But the jungle adventure basket didn't show up. And so then like took me a long time to start like sorting through and finding things. Which then made me have to take another break from it. Which was fine because then I started working on Sinley Sash's shell challenge. And like doing the exterior for that. Which gave me a good <laughs> enough break from an interior this is the terrible piano room that I was talking about before. I was trying everything to make this not be so weird. And it's just like, it's really weird. It's so tiny. Like, this is not normal. <laughs> but I couldn't really do anything else. And I was going to, like, try and, like, extend the room out a little bit. Maybe make the porch a little bit smaller. But I liked how it looked on the exterior. And I didn't want to change anything about the exterior. <laughs> so I sacrificed the interior just to like have the cute exterior that I liked. And so there's a very narrow piano room. <laughs> but imagine this is like a little bit bigger and there's like couches around and like sun actually shining through the windows. <laughs> because the only window is like has the shutter on it so there's no natural light except for like the doorway <laughs> it's like a very dark sad room um but just pretend <laughs> like it's like really nice and fancy and you could like um sit on one of the couches and like have a nice drink while someone plays the piano something like that <laughs> i feel like the bathroom is just even the bathroom is more spacious i mean it's like probably not it's like definitely less tiles but it has three nice windows in it and like not a lot of stuff it's just like some counters cabinet bathtub and then like the vampire's toilet and that's like it apparently i didn't cut some of this out so we'll see what do, what do i do here <laughs> okay so i put a a bucket and just some clutter around um i sized down a hand towel and i used that really pretty mirror from was it for rent? I think it was from for rent. And then I have a hallway. See, that's also another thing throwing me off. <laughs> so you go through a hallway in the house. So you enter the front door hallway. And then you go to the kitchen. And then you walk through the kitchen. And then there's a door that you have to open. And that door leads to a hallway. And in that hallway is another door to a bathroom. And a ladder that leads up to the living room. <laughs> so like when I explained it. It's just even worse. And I just couldn't. I needed to commit to this. And so I was like this is fine. Like do people want to play with this house? Probably not. <laughs> so I, it should be okay. Um, I, Yeah. I just had to. I just had to accept that that was what that was like. And I don't know why I did the double stoves here it's because i think it's because the house in real life had like this big beautiful copper stove and i just couldn't figure out 
how to like make that. And if I had given myself some more time, I could have maybe like actually looked at the pictures a little bit more closely and really tried to make it like feel a little bit more like the house. But um, this was like what I had to do for myself or else I would probably be way too stressed. <laughs> and so I just did a simple kitchen. It's a little bit dark. I do add another candle on the wall by this, um, I guess, prep station. It's a dining room table, but in my head, they'd like make things there. I did make sure that there was one counter open just in case people do play with this build. So there is a counter open. And I turned the uh, this hallway into kind of like a pantry. Like it just stores some of the like um, plates and stuff and an extra chair is just thrown in there because I would have liked to have a pantry too. And it just wasn't possible. And I love this. I love this room that I'm just working on now. Except I don't like that you have to climb up a ladder to get to it. It would have been so pretty downstairs. But unfortunately, I, I couldn't do that. So it's up here. <laughs> it does look like an afterthought. And that's because it was an afterthought. I was like, okay, this will either be a bedroom. Or this will be a... Um, like a sitting area i don't know what's sitting area because like i the floor plan was so wants to get throwing me off i was like so i'm like making someone go through all of these hallways like scary hallways to climb up a ladder to go to bed at night it felt like too much <laughs> So I turned it into this room and I do like it. I think this is like my second favorite room of the house if this was downstairs, you know, but yeah, I like how it's decorated. I like this like shade of green. I like the pillows on the couch as well. And just like putting some clutter around and books made it like feel very cozy up here, which I really liked. And so I was just like, yeah, this is okay. I didn't want to go overboard with the clutter. It was just like simple enough, just like cluttering enough of the shelves for it to like look lived in enough. And this is the very tiny bedroom. Um, it's going to end pretty quickly and I'm going to have the screenshots. So I don't want to like talk too much until I get to the screenshots because I still need to take them. But yeah, this this bedroom is decorated cutely. I like the wallpaper. I like the color of the bed. I like the dresser and the clock. It is very simple, but I feel like it works for this. Um, I would have liked for the bed to not have been against the wall, but I can't have everything. <laughs> and I was going to try and put that bookcase, but I didn't want to risk the Sims not being able to walk through. So I settled for a little chair and I'll be getting into the screenshots now, which I'll be back in a little bit <laughs> to talk about those. I feel a lot better about the screenshots than I had kind of thought at first because some of the rooms I was hating on while I was doing the voiceover, but in the pictures, I feel like it came out pretty, like, nice. I like how some of the decor looks. It's simple, but I feel like it works for this build. But yeah, that's the whole video. Make sure to check out everyone else's builds in the collab. I'll have the hashtag down below um, so you can look on the gallery and also on Instagram. So yeah, thank you. Bye.